G'day and welcome to the third of my videos on cubes. Now, believe it or not, by the end of this fairly short video, you'll be able to look at any of these numbers and work out their cube roots, simply because they're perfect cubes. Now, in a subsequent video, I'm going to explain how to find the cube roots of any number. It's a little bit involved. But the beauty is that if it's a perfect cube, and you know it's a perfect cube, it must conform to a certain pattern. And uh, I'm going to show you something of what that pattern is. First of all, just very quickly, I probably could have had this up before, but it's probably good that we concentrate on doing this uh, as we talk. These cubes, you should know. Uh, my first video explains them. Uh, and how to learn them. Here we go, two more, five one two, and nine cubed is seven twenty nine. Now I want you to notice something rather interesting. If you look at the last digit, whoops, I know I know this is not the neatest thing in the world. I want you to notice we have a 0, a 1, a 2, a 3, a 4, a 5, a 6, a 7, an 8 and a 9. They are all different, every one of them. So in other words, if I hid the beginning of the number and you saw that it ended in a 3, you would know that it was 7 cubed. If I hid it and it ended in a 5, you should know that it's 5 cubed and so forth. Now that's a rather unique and special thing. It's rather nice, in fact, that, um, that all these last digits are completely unique. I want you to notice something else about them. And that is that 9 cubed ends in a 9, 6 cubed ends in a 6, 5 cubed ends in a 5, 4 cubed ends in a 4, 1 cubed in a 1, 0 cubed in a 0. How nice it would be if all of them ended the same way. But there are four numbers that don't. Now, fortunately, they make a nice pattern. The first is that 7 cubed ends in a 3, and 3 cubed ends in a 7. So you can think of 3 and 7 being somehow linked or related. Also, 8 cubed ends in a 2, and 2 cubed ends in an 8. So, 2 and 8 are related. And apart from those two combinations, all the others are the same. Notice these add up to 10. So, hopefully it'll be fairly easy to remember uh, those pairs. But the 4, 5, 6 in the middle all remain the same. And the ones at each end, the 9 and the 0 and 1, all remain the same. Now that's important because if we know these are perfect cubes and we look at the last digit, we know that whatever this is, its cube root ends in a 6. It's something 6 cubed. This one, ending in a 3, is one of these pairs. And because it ends in a 3, whatever is cubed must end in a 7. So just by knowing that it's a perfect cube, the last digit gives us a lot of information about the cube root. In fact, it gives us half of our answer. Because when you cube a number, you get something rather large. And believe it or not, the cube root of all of these will form a two-digit number, or each of these. Uh, even, believe it or not, this one. When you think about it, 99 times 99 times 99 is a little bit less than 100 times 100 times 100. And 100 times 100 times 100 is a million. It's got one with six zeros. So anything less than a million, which this is, must give us a cube root of 99 or less. So there we go. We Just by looking at the last digit, we can work out what the last digit of our cube root is. How do we work out the first digit? Well, remember that if we have something equal to, let's say, 
um, 61 cubed. The 1 cubed will guarantee we get a 1 here. The 60, remember that 6 stands for 60. 60 cubed is going to have a 0, 0, 0, and 6 cubed is 2, 1, 6. Where are we? 6 cubed is 2, 1, 6. So 60 cubed will be this. Notice, this is in the thousands. Now, of course, there, there's going to be more material added on. This result's going to be bigger than this. Uh, but it's going to be a little bit over 216,000. And this is the clue. We only have to look at what's up in the thousands to give us a good idea of what number is the leading number in our uh, cube root. For example, if we look at this, we can see that 175 is over that, it's bigger than 5 cubed, but it's not quite as large as 6 cubed. So there is no way that this number could be as high as 60 times 60 times 60, because 60 times 60 times 60 would give us 216,000, which is too big. So the clue is we look for the cube, which is just under whatever number of thousands we have. So because 5 cubed, 125 is less than that, we know that the first digit here must be a 5, and because it ends in a 6, we know that the last digit must be a 6, and believe it or not, 56 cubed is 175,616. Now let's, let's uh, I'll rub this out, Let's do two or three more, a little more slowly, or about the same speed, and then speed up for the last ones. We look at the hundreds, or the thousands rather. Where does 300 fit in our scheme of things? Well, it's not quite as high as 7 cubed. So we know it's 6 cubed, so the first digit is a 6. It ends in a 3, so it's one of these 7 3 pairs. Because it ends in a 3, we know that the cube root ends in a 7. In the thousands, this is quite small, isn't it? 4 is between 1 and 8. So all we can guarantee is we've got 1 cubed. It's not big enough to be 2 cubed. So the first digit's going to be a 1. And ending in a 3, it's one of our 3 7 pairs. So it tells us the last digit is a 7. What's the first digit here? Where does it fit in the scheme of things? Well, it's between 8 and 27, isn't it? So it's going to be a 2 cubed is all we're going to get out of that. So it's going to be 20 times something, or 20 plus something. This uh, cube ends in a 9, and we remember that all cubes ending in a 9, the cube root must end in a 9. Let's do the last three a little bit more rapidly and try to stay ahead of me and see if you're right. I'll try and give a little bit of a pause. What's the first digit going to be? Did you pick it between here, between 512 and 729? If you did, you're right, and the first digit is an 8. What's the first digit for this one? Actually, no, we should finish this off, shouldn't we? What's the last digit going to be? Well, remember that all 6 cubes end in a 6, so it has to be a 6. Did you get that one right? Try this one, 830. Now, it's huge. It's actually higher than that, so we know that our first digit is a 9. And because it ends in a 4, remember 4 was that one of those little bunch in the middle that stayed the same, the cube root must end in a 4. I hope you got that one right. And the very last one, 35, it's here, between 27 and 64, so it's 3. Ends in a 7, so it's one of our 7, 3 pair, so that's 33 cubed.
It's quite a simple thing, provided somehow you know that what you're looking at is a perfect cube. Two very tiny clues to look for. The last digit gives you the last digit of the cube root, and the number in the thousands uh, give, is a good guide to knowing the, uh, the first digit in the cube root. It really is as simple as that. So if you've taken the trouble to learn your perfect cubes up to nine cubed, uh, you can do this. Uh, you can be you can quite surprise your friends even. Of course, if you have a calculator in a classroom, you'll probably do that quite rapidly. But there are occasions when you might just, because of the nature of the question, know that it's a perfect cube. For example, you're asked, here's a question. You're told the cube has a volume of, let's say, 300,763 cubic metres. And for some reason you know that the length of each side is a whole number of metres. So if you know that's a perfect cube, we've just solved that and you would know that this was 67 metres by 67 metres by 67 metres. Pure and simple. So there it is. Uh, I won't go on and on. You can test yourself out on this. Uh, a simple thing would be to get your... Uh, parents or friends or if you're in a classroom uh, the teacher could get you to do this to, to, to pair up and one of you uh, perform a cube or find a cube on your calculator read out the answer to the other person and then see if the other person can work out what the cube root was and it's quite a good skill with practice you can do this in your head especially if they re if they state the number fairly slowly so just listen for where they say the word thousand. So if they say 636,000, hopefully you can locate that just above 512. So you know it's 50. Yeah, sorry, 8 cubed rather. And then uh, when they read the last bit, you're just listening for the last digit for the uh, last digit in the cube root. Try it out. If you like it, please uh, click the like button. Please leave a comment if you've got anything uh, relevant to say. And please subscribe to the channel so you can hear about future videos. And I thank you for watching.